are just a day away from the return of Superman and Lois. The season two premiere is tomorrow right here on the CW San Diego. Tyler Hecklin and Elizabeth Tullock are joining us now live from Vancouver. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having us. Tyler, let's start with you. So what is going on in Smallville here? Uh, I'm excited for uh, season two here. Uh, yeah, we are. We are back. Um, we're kind of picking, picking it up where we left off. Um, uh, Natalie, who is Lois Lane and John Henry Irons' daughter from another Earth, uh, has crash landed at the farm. And uh, as you can imagine, that would cause some uh, some interesting uh, relationship dynamics uh, and uh, a lot of conflict, uh, especially for, for Lois, who's dealing with that. Um, so uh, I think in a really great way, uh, it's a huge action sequence that we um, that we come out of in the finale and we come into the new season once again, focus on the family. So it's a really nice way to pick things up. And let's uh, let's talk a little bit, Elizabeth, about what excites you about this season and what uh, would you think people are going to be amped about here this season? I think having the addition of uh, Jenna Dewan, who plays Lucy Lane, Lois's younger sister, is seems to be really exciting for the fans. And also, we have another new cast member, Ian Bowen, from Teen Wolf and Yellowstone, who's who's on the show this season. So definitely some exciting new casting uh, announcements and. Um, I would say there's more than one villain, main villain this season, and so we cannot, we can't obviously reveal anything about that. But that's pretty fun, and and you know Lois's storyline with Natalie, uh, her daughter from another Earth, and having to deal with all of that emotional fallout is that was my that's Tyler, been really fun for me. Awesome to hear, uh, Tyler. Look, you're Superman. Uh, I think all of us guys try to be Superman. It's not always uh, that easy to be super dad and super husband, though, right? Can you talk about that? Yeah, I think it's one of the great things about the show is that, you know, with someone like uh, Superman, there there aren't a lot of vulnerabilities. Uh, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's why he can endure so much. But um, when it comes to relationships uh, and dealing with other people and, and trying to be a father and to be a husband, uh, those are things that it doesn't really matter how strong you are or how, um, uh, how much you're able to kind of just deflect bullets with your chest doesn't really do anything. Uh, right. So it's uh, it's a really great way to see a character that usually seems so unshakable um, still struggling. Uh, I think like a lot of us do in, in relationships, whether they're good or bad, just trying to make them work and, and be the best version that we can uh, in those. So it's, uh, it's a really great opportunity to see this character in a whole new light. Elizabeth, you touched on it a bit, but there's a new sheriff in town, right, with Ian Bowen's character. Uh, how does that change the dynamic? Well, he's, uh, I, I actually shouldn't answer that question. I haven't really worked with him much. That would be a question for Tyler. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's been great. Uh, Ian's a great friend of mine. Um, and so it's nice to have him on the show. We've been having a really good time. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, I think there's such an established relationship between Superman and uh, General Lane that when he steps out, uh, it's like, it's like anything. It's getting to, to know it's like a new dance. And so um, there's, uh, they're, they're not really getting off to the best start necessarily um a lot of growing pains and uh just kind of kind of wait to see how painful or not painful that gets elizabeth lois tells clark in the uh season two trailer things haven't been okay for months and i've been blaming you right talk about that real quick well that really has to do with uh, uh we do a little bit of a time jump we pick up where we left off where natalie's pod crash lands in front of the kent farm in smallville and then it's really has to do with uh lois's you know, we, typically we see Lois Lane as being someone who's incredibly in control of the situation and even keeled. And um, she has a really hard time processing uh, this daughter who she has no recollection or memory of showing up out of, uh, out of nowhere. And so that's what that's referencing. We're super excited for season two's premiere of Superman and Lois. It airs tomorrow at 8 p.m. on The CW San Diego. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.